What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another class at the Burndown Academy. I'm Justin. I'm Eric. Today's class, we're going to go over cigar sickness, cigar nausea, what causes it, and how you can prevent it. So stay tuned. It's coming up next on the Burndown Academy. <music> So you're feeling a little sick. You're feeling like a little. You're you're getting a little nauseous. I mean, what is that? And talking from personal experience, I have, have encountered something like this. You you kind of get hot. You kind of get the sweats. You feel a little nauseous. Maybe even like you're gonna throw up. And you almost get the spins. Now there's a couple of reasons why that happens. Why? So it's actually a small form of nicotine poisoning. So cigars have nicotine in them. Everybody knows this. And what happens is. Some of that, if you're smoking too fast, you can actually get a little bit of nicotine poisoning and it's going to cause you to feel nauseous. Yeah. It's going to cause you to feel like you want to vomit. Um, this is not a pleasurable experience for cigar smokers. If you're a seasoned cigar vet, even if you're a newbie, you've probably come across this and it doesn't feel well. It just, it taints and it ruins yeah. your whole cigar experience. You don't even want to finish the cigar. You want to put it down. It kind of ruins it. Yeah. I mean, and... Even today, I mean, before, when I first started smoking cigars, even up to today, um, I, I mean, I've encountered this experience a few times, and every single time I looked back on why I felt like this. And the most recent time, it was just because, which I think is the most often um, time why you do feel a little bit nauseous, is that you're just inhaling the cigar too often and too fast within a minute. You might be taking four, five, six, seven, eight puffs in one time, and you're inhaling all that tobacco, all that nicotine through your mouth and all your pores, and your body can't handle it. it won't, you know, it's a little overwhelming. Exactly. So, I mean, there's a couple of reasons, like Eric said, is one, you're inhaling the cigar. We all know you shouldn't inhale cigars. Never. Some people do, and they think that, you know, that's the right way to do it. It's really not. Cigars are not meant for that. They're very strong. They're very powerful. And if you inhale the cigars, you're probably going to get sick and feel a little nauseous. Definitely, definitely feel lightheaded. I, I mean, you, I'm sure you call from experience, mm. trying a cigar for the first time or first couple of times, you inhale a cigar because you think that's what it's supposed to do, and you get super lightheaded, you get the spins, and that's rule number one of cigar smoking. You don't want to inhale a cigar. So rule number two on why this could be happening, or, or, a, or cause number two, is like Eric said, you're puffing too frequently. Typically with a cigar, you want to let, you want to enjoy it. Just let it last. Be patient with it, okay? Be gentle with it. If you're puffing on it too frequently, like Eric said, if you're puffing on five, six, maybe even 10 times in under a minute, all of that nicotine is being absorbed through your tongue, through mm -hmm. your throat, through your mouth, and you're getting that small case of nicotine poisoning. So slow down, be patient, relax, and take your time with the cigar. It's gonna, you're gonna enjoy it a lot better. Um, it's gonna be a more pleasurable experience, and you're gonna prevent getting that, no that nauseous. You really should be taking one, two puffs of your cigar maybe every 45 seconds to a minute. You really shouldn't be doing much more than that. I mean, you know, Justin and I, like you see us on the burn down all the time. It's no more than two puffs within a minute, right? I mean. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you do three, like I'll do a half a puff, a half a puff, and then a third, like yeah. full, just to kind of warm up the tobacco because it was sitting there for a little bit, warm it back up, get a nice draw in. But you really don't want to just keep puffing on the cigar. It's going to be too much, and again, uh, on the second thing of it, puffing on the cigar too much, it's going to get too hot and the flavors aren't going to be there. Yeah. You're not going to enjoy it because the cigar is going to be just burning and it's not going to be smoking slowly like it should be. I mean, I especially know the young guys out there because I came across this being at a party, being the guy with the cigar, you just want the cigar in the mouth, you keep puffing on it, you're drinking, you're doing this, you're doing that, and all of a sudden you feel lightheaded. I mean, that's not the way to go because you're going to be out of commission for about 20 minutes because you're going to be getting sweaty. You're going to be feeling sick. Greasy. Yeah. You, you, just, <laughs> you just want to enjoy the cigar one, two, maybe three puffs every single minute and, uh, and just enjoy the cigar. And I think the next cause of you know what this entails is you don't want to smoke a cigar on an empty stomach especially a full-bodied cigar exactly you don't want to smoke a maduro or a nick you know a nicaraguan anything with strong uh flavor profiles on an empty stomach again trying to smoke cigars going through you learn the ropes you learn it you learn through experience yeah man. you don't smoke a cigar on an empty stomach because 
it doesn't, it sounds weird, but it doesn't absorb anything. There's nothing there to absorb. Your empty, your stomach is empty. It's looking for something to get the blood pumping, and all you're giving it is nicotine, and you're gonna get a little nauseous. Been there, done that, don't do it. So there you have it. That's what causes cigar sickness, cigar nausea, and those are the three ways on how to prevent that from happening. All we want you guys to do is enjoy your cigars. So be patient with them. Don't puff too frequently. Make sure you have some food in your system, something to drink with you, and just go out, enjoy your smoke. We don't want you to get sick. We don't want you to get nauseous. We don't want you to get the sweats. It's gonna ruin it for you, and you're not, and you're not gonna wanna keep smoking your cigar. So be patient, have food in your system. Just enjoy your smoke. And smoke a cigar on a full stomach. Eat something. Don't eat nothing when you're smoking a cigar. Get some of them nutrients. Nutrients. So I'm Eric. I'm Justin. And that will be today's session at the Burnout Academy. Class is adjourned.